Greetings to you from the Duncan Chamber of Commerce. I just wanted to take an opportunity to uh, give you an update of the things that we have coming up this week here at the Chamber. But first of all, I would like to uh, thank everyone that made uh, last Thursday's banquet. We had our banquet, as you know, on March 14th, Thursday at the Simmons Center. I would just like to thank all of our many sponsors that made that event possible. It's through their generosity that the Chamber was able to put on what I think was one of the best banquets that we've ever had. I'd like to congratulate Sandy Stewart and our Director of Investor Services and the Banquet Committee. I'd like to thank the Ambassadors for all the setup and work that they did that day. And they're too numerous to mention, but you know who you are, and we most sincerely thank our Ambassadors for all that they did. Two of our ambassadors, you may have noticed that evening, were actually helping uh, get the dinner served in a timely fashion. So I would like to thank Dina Atnip and Paula Huckabee for their work there. Uh, the banquet, as you know, uh, was a fun evening. Uh, if you'll look on this uh, from the President's Desk newsletter, you'll see our many sponsors. Uh, at this stage, they're too numerous to name, but we would like to especially thank them for their generosity. Uh, also would like to thank the uh, Duncan Banner, uh, if any of you received the Sunday Duncan Banner, we really uh, thank you for giving such great coverage of the banquet. Uh, we'd like to congratulate our winners. Uh, we had uh, our Rookie of the Year Ambassador, as you know, was Tara Mathis. Our Ambassador of the Year was Susan Nutt. Uh, Applebee's, uh, John McKinney was there to accept the Free Enterprise Award. Uh, Kelsey Vance and his uh, Edward Jones Company that did the restoration. Uh, at the old 1921 Waterworks building and made it into a classic. They received the Community Improvement Award. Uh, Gina Flesher, that lively person that seems to be involved in so many things in the community, won the Al Henshaw Community Spirit Award. Congratulations, Gina. And uh, our Woman of the Year was Marilyn Hugan. Congratulations, Marilyn. And our Man of the Year was Russ Stewart. We'd like to congratulate all our winners, but we'd also like to congratulate all the nominees. We had many nominees in each of those categories and they're all well deserving of praise from our community and chamber for all the work that they do in the community. I think it demonstrates with the quality of nominees and the wonderful people that were nominated that uh, we are truly a community that's trying to work together, uh, move the community forward into the future and really provide an excellent quality of life to all the citizens of our community. Uh, I'd also like to let you know the uh, Leadership Steering Committee uh, meets at noon on Monday. Uh, they are going to be planning the uh, Culture and Quality Life Day to be held on April 2nd. They're under the leadership of uh, Lois Don Jones as chairman and Bill Gossett as co-chair. Uh, the chair of the day will be Dana Stanley uh, with Rick King of the Moose Lodge is going to be his co-chair. Uh, should be a great day. They're going to review all the many different features that Duncan has to offer. We don't realize Oftentimes we'll get to say to one another, there's not much to do in Duncan, but usually after our leadership class goes through the Culture and Quality Life Day, they begin to wonder how so many wonderful events can be taking place all within this community that we have here that we love and know as Duncan, Oklahoma. Um, also, on Tuesday the 19th, uh, one of our new members, CDC Tree Service, uh, Steve and Sandy McCaslin, we're going to do a ribbon cutting at 10 a.m., uh, they're located, if you go to the intersection of 81 Bodark and come back about one block to the north on the east side, uh, we're going to do a ribbon cutting there at 10 a.m. Tuesday. And it's not just the ambassadors that will be there. Uh, we hope and invite all of our members, if you'd like the opportunity to come out and network and talk with uh, Steve and Sandy, uh, please do so. Uh, we also, on the Wednesday the 20th, bright and early at 8 a.m., we're going to have a lively discussion known as the Breakfast Committee. We'll meet here at the Duncan Chamber in the boardroom. We'll be planning out our uh, April breakfast, uh, which will be April 4th at 6.45 to 8 o'clock. Come on out to the Simmons Center. Put that on your calendar. Should be another uh, great breakfast. Our sponsor on the April 4th breakfast will be uh, Duncan Regional Hospital, and we always uh, thank the support of Duncan Regional Hospital. Uh, Thursday at 10 a.m., we're going to have another ribbon cutting. Uh, many of you may remember uh, Jim Markle's uh, service station for many years on Highway 81 right to the uh, south of Quick Serve. Uh, it's now Outlaw Customs and if you uh, want to trick your truck, if you want to get a lifter set or a lowering set or get tinted or anything that you can imagine to make your uh, truck the talk of the town, come on down to Outlaw Customs at 10 a.m. on Thursday morning and, and help us do a ribbon cutting there. Uh, also on Thursday we'll have our 
at 2.30, our executive committee meeting here in the boardroom at the chamber. And at 3.30, uh, we'll have our regular board meeting, meeting. And we always are very thankful for our board members. They do a lot of work behind the scenes in directing policy and making sure that the chamber is moving forward in the community. Um, I'd also like to uh, take the opportunity, now that we have uh, finished our banquet, uh, spring is in the air, as you know, uh, Wednesday is spring, and we've gone into full swing. Uh, Sandy Stewart and the golf committee will meet next week again. Uh, we're planning a really great outing for uh, the chamber on April 26th at the Duncan Golf and Tennis Club. Uh, we're going to have a 1 p.m. shotgun start. We uh, hope to have around 25 teams, uh, four, about 100 players. Uh, you'll be in here uh, in the next week or so. You'll be getting an entry form. Uh, we uh, already have nine teams, though, and we thank those nine teams. And we have some sponsors already, which I'll, uh, I'll kind of start reviewing with you next week. But I just wanted you to encourage to put on your calendar April 26th, uh, 1 p.m. shotgun start. The Chamber's going to have their four-person scramble. Should be a fun day. We've got a team entry for $500 that's all-inclusive. It'll include your, your team entry, your mulligans, uh, gift bag, shirts, lunch, uh, some drink tickets, a couple for each player, and your cart. Of course, if you've got your own cart and you're used to using your own cart, you're more than welcome to, to uh, bring your own cart. But it should be a, a great event. Uh, we're going to have a hole in one contest, and uh, I think everyone will have a great time that day. I'd just like to, uh, once again, uh, thank you all for being members of the Chamber. It is uh, through you that we're able to do what we do within the community. Uh, the Chamber tries to become relevant to your business. We want to help you promote your business. Most of all, we want to help promote our community and improve the business climate. Uh, we want to improve the quality of life here. And over the next several weeks, I'll be discussing with you several different projects, whether it be the uh, impending bond issue that the uh, city will have to fix our streets or the Chisholm Heritage Trails project that we have for a true 5K trail within the community. There are just many things that we're all involved with. And I'd like to thank you all for being involved. Uh, I'd like to leave you with a quote today that uh, my mother told me when I was 12. I think she may have knew what kind of person I'd be, and she wanted to kind of control me a little bit. It's a quote from Abe Lincoln. She liked old Abe. He said, it was better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. So I assure you, in my life, I always try to do that. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to serve as your president of the chamber, and I thank you for the opportunity that you've given the Chamber of Commerce in representing you in this great community of Duncan. Thank you, and have a great week.